Okay, we're on Trumot, Perikei, Perikei Mishnah Tet, last Mishnah in the fifth chapter of Trumot. We're going to add, Mishnah asks a very interesting question. If something is batel, can you do something after the Beetle in order to nullify the Beetle? Well, I'll explain, Mishnah will explain. So, Trumot, let's give us a true Mishnah, Nafala Lameya. Okay, the one Trumot fell into 100 Chulen and it's batel, as we've learned in the previous Mishnah. Utchanan, Upachatu. And you ground them. And therefore, the, 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 the volume of everything is smaller. So there's no longer a hundred to, there's no longer a hundred corresponding to the sa'ah. So the Mishnah seems to say the obvious, but it says it anyway. Just like the chulin, the volume of the chulin, when you grind it up, for whatever reason, for some reason, when you grind it up, the volume gets smaller for the chulin, so too the same volume was proportionally minimized for the truma. So therefore, you still have one to hundred ratio, and it's still mutar. Next case, sa'ar truma shenafla lepachot mimeh. What if it's not batel? Sa'ar truma fell into less than 100. Utchanan, and you grind it, vehotiru. Somehow the grinding process, in this case, I guess it's thicker wheat or what have you, the grinding process makes it more voluminous. So now I have more than 100. Again, kishem she'etiru achulin, just like you have more volume, the volume it was inflated in the chulin, kachotiru ha'ar truma v'asur. So too, the, the truma was also, volume was increased, and it's also, and therefore it's asur, proportionality. So therefore, it was not patel before, it's not patel now. But, im yadua she'achitin shel chulin yafot mishel truma, so somehow, if you knew that the wheat of chulin were better than the truma, were nicer, were thicker, and therefore, however it works, I'm not sure because I'm not involved in the grinding of grain, but some grain, when you grind it, obviously it would create a larger volume, a greater uh, nefach, a greater, uh, definitely not weight, but a larger value, and uh, some grain would, would create a smaller value when you ground it. It was less quality. So therefore, in this case, if you knew that the wheat of chulin was nicer than the wheat of truma, and therefore when you ground it, the wheat of the chulin is going to get larger, and the wheat of the truma is not going to get larger, then mutar, then, then you, there is a way, then it is possible that, uh, that even though it was not batel before you ground it, it now is batel after you ground it, okay, because the, the volume increased. Well, now, the weight won't increase scientifically. I don't know how this works scientifically. Maybe I should look in Rav Safrai. It's just an interesting question, because uh, se'ah is a weight measurement. It's not a volume measurement. Is it a volume measurement? I don't know. It's a good question. Maybe it's a volume measurement. Se'ah truma shenafu lepachot mimeya. If you have a se'ah truma that fell into less than that, it's not batel. Ve'achar kach navlu sham chulin. So first it fell into 70. And then another 35 fell into the pile. Im shogeg mutar. If it fell in by accident, somebody mixed it and didn't know mutar. The imezid asur, but if you mixed it in yourself, so before it was shoge, it was batel, and now you added in another thirty-five, it's asur. Why says the Bartanura? Kansuhu Rabban and the rabbis uh, find you should bitul a bitel asur isur lechadchila. It's called this is called bitul isur lechadchila, and there's a din ein mevatlin isur lechadchila. You're not allowed to intentionally nullify. So, for example, if you know I I uh, draft an ounce of milk into fifty ounces of chicken soup. So it's not batel, it's only batel b'shishim. So I say, you know what, I'll add more chicken soup, I'll add more water, and it'll be batel b'shishim. Hu adin l'chol isur v'shem b'torah, any isur she bitlan b'mezid, if you're batel, if you nullify it intentionally, she'em asurim. It's asur because of this principle, this general rule, ein mevatlin isur l'chatchila. All right, this concludes our Mishnah, it concludes Perak Hay. We'll stop here. If you have any comments or questions, as always, contact me at rspolter at gmail.com. And we'll dedicate this learning to the memory of my father, Rav Simcha Ben Yitzchak Kalman. Have a great day.